All right, hi Leo, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They give us them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. So let's see what message wants to come through for you today. And please note this is not tarot, this is intuitive channeled messages. I use my Claire audience and my Claire Claire gifts to channel the messages. So let's see what is coming up today for you. What's your message from your spirit guides? And what is your spirit animal? We have the link. Now this came through in a few messages last week. So Leo, you might be dealing with someone who's been quite secretive or shady. The narcissistic energy coming through last week's readings has coming up as a link. So someone who's feeling a little bit guilty about their shady or secretive behavior. might just be an extension on last week's reading but we'll see what's coming through Okay, so it's different energy this week. That's always positive. So I feel like you have someone who has been keeping their feelings for you a secret. Someone's um in like seems to be a secret admirer. And this isn't um negative energy. So I feel like either you, Leo, or someone that is connected to you has been hiding their feelings and been keeping their feelings a secret for you. So I feel like someone's been feeling guilty for hiding their feelings and I feel like they want to take action. They want to take a leap of faith on expressing these feelings because they've been hiding these feelings for a really long time. And I feel like this is someone who thinks you're very beautiful. So you're very stunning. Um, I feel like they think you're very beautiful and I feel like this person has been watching you from afar for a really long time and they've been assessing the situation. So I think this is someone quite shy who wants to take action on their feelings for you um, and they're feeling really bad for hiding their feelings, lying and keeping it a secret. I think it's someone who's a little bit shy, who's a little bit scared to come forward because I feel like your beauty intimidates this person so i feel like there's a worthiness issue with this person of um you know expressing their feelings to you so i feel like it's a masculine energy who's just been a little bit intimidated by your beauty so you are someone very good looking leo and i feel like they're gonna <laughs> act on their feelings uh, you know when you meet someone who's just incredibly attractive incredibly good looking and you get nervous around them. That's the energy that's coming through this reading. So I feel like they, you know, they get nervous whenever you're in the room and they just like to watch from afar because they felt safer when they were in your company. They felt safer just to hide these feelings because they're a little bit shy about admitting they liked you. So it's someone who's ready to finally kind of take action on the feelings they have for you. And we have freedom. So I feel like this person wants to free themselves from like some sort of like position in their life where they've been hiding their feelings. So they, I feel like it's gotten to a point where this person's like, all right, I need to tell the Leo how I feel and I need to escape my shadow side and I need to just, you know, take a leap of faith and tell this person that I think that they're beautiful I'm sick of being a bystander. I'm sick of observing them. I'm sick of watching them from afar. I'm sick of not acting on my feelings. I'm sick of like 
admiring this person and thinking so highly of them and being too scared to say anything. So if someone is finally getting the courage, Leo is all about strength and courage too. That's Leo energy. I feel like it's someone who's finally getting the courage and the strength to come forward and tell you how they feel. And this is someone who admires you, who thinks you're beautiful. And they're really ready to come forward and express these feelings. Yeah, this person's been assessing you and focused on you for a really long time. They can't get you off their mind. So I feel like it's a masculine energy who's ready to have courage and tell you how they feel. And they want to break free from overthinking it. Like, I think this is someone who is gaining the courage and the confidence to come towards you because you're incredibly beautiful. So let's see. What your spirit animal is. You're the fox. <laughs> see what I meant about beauty? So the fox is very good looking. <laughs> so you're coming up as a spirit animal of the fox, which clarifies that you're very good looking and you intimidate this person. So I feel like you're the spirit animal of the fox, Leo, because, you know, you're cunning, you're strategic, but you're quite good looking. You know, everybody knows that fox is slang for someone who's very hot. She's a fox. He's a fox, you know? And even like sexy older men, it's a silver fox. So you're coming up with someone very good looking because you're a fox. So someone's been a bit intimidated to approach you because you're really hot. You're really attractive. You're a bit of a fox. And I feel like they're just ready to take a leap of faith and break free, Leo. Gain that courage to come and approach you because you're quite beautiful. So let's find out how you feel about them. What is coming through the reading about your feelings for this person? Is this going to be well received or is it something that it's going to shock you? Have you got any idea that this person's into? Surrender. So I feel like this person will be very seductive when they approach you and I feel like they're going to seduce you. I'm getting like that energy of surrender because... I feel like you'll surrender to this person's advances. You'll surrender to their approach. You'll surrender to um, their advances is really you know, the best way to put it because I feel like this person, you know, it's quite endearing how, how like nervous they are, how much they've been scared to tell you until now about their feelings. And yeah, I think you're going to find it quite endearing when they come forward because it's going to be quite sweet trust yeah i feel like this is someone that you trust so i feel like you've got a person here who is enamored by your beauty and they're quite intimidated by you and how beautiful you are and i feel like you're going to surrender to their advances when they approach you because i feel like this person is someone in your environment that has your trust and you'll trust them because they took so long to make a move so it's like you know, this person um, isn't trying to seduce you in a really, you know, charismatic or um, toxic way. It's not narcissistic energy that's coming through here. It's someone who is quite endearing because they think you're beautiful and they've been too nervous to take action on their feelings until now. And I think because they think you're so beautiful, it's going to be like a nice... Um, it's going to be like a nice little surprise when they come forward and tell you how they feel because this is someone who wants to break free of their shadow side and they've been quite focused on you for a while. So I feel like you'll know that you can trust this and you'll surrender to the process. That's really beautiful. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, grab some cards from the other deck here, which we have, which is... Brian Froud's fairy deck. Now, I can't pull these ones intuitively because they just don't spread out very easily. So we're going to shuffle those and I'm also going to use some of the 
spirit animal cards from this deck. So let's clarify what action this um, person would like to take, this endearing person. What action do they want to take? <laughs> clarify your energy. <laughs> Fox. <laughs> and the connective energy. See, I pulled the right card intuitively. Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like this person is a little bit shy. So they're coming up with a spirit animal of the mouth. So the action they're going to take is basically they're going to be a little bit quiet at first, a little bit nervous. So you've got someone who's going to take a leap of faith, but it might take them a little bit of time to come out of their shell. I feel like this is someone who you'll need to get to know. They want to take things slowly with you and they might be a little bit shy like a, a mouse and tiptoeing around you, not wanting to... Um, not wanting to step a foot wrong is what I just heard. So it's someone who is going to be on their best behavior. Now you came up with the action of the fox. So you're just going to continue to be very witty, very funny, very charismatic and very charming. And you're also going to look your best. So I feel like you're quite stylish. And I think you're going to be, you know, dressing nice, making sure your hair and your makeup is done nice. You've got, you know, a slick outfit, a stylish outfit pulled out. Uh, that's the energy I'm getting from you. And then we have the connective energy as the fish. So I feel like you guys are both going to be holding back your feelings, resisting your feelings a little bit. We've got the alchemical symbol for water here. So... The um, koi fish is all about luck. So I feel like you guys are going to be feeling quite lucky um, to connect with each other. But I feel like you hold back your feelings because you don't want to come on, you know, too keen. So I feel like it's going to take a little bit of time for this connection to um, develop because you're both quite playing it cool kind of people. This masculine's a bit shy to express his feelings. So I think this is a connection that will need some time to develop out of like the friend stage. And it might take a lot of time for you guys to feel comfortable around each other because some people are just shy and they just get nervous. And you're quite good looking, Leo. So you need to understand how much you intimidate people. All right, so I'm going to get a card from... This guy, find out the strongest thing that the, the lynx and horse is feeling for the fox. And the strongest thing the fox is feeling for the lynx and horse. <laughs> and the connective energy, the strongest thing you guys both feel. Okay, so... The... um. <sighs> The lynx and the horse came up with he of the fiery sword, which is all about clarity. So I feel like this person's really clear on their decision and they're clear about their feelings to you. I feel like, you know, they've got clarity that you're the person for them. And he of the fiery sword is all about mental clarity. So I feel like this person knows that you're the right choice for them. They're very clear in their decision. This isn't someone who's going to change their mind. And they're just a little bit nervous upon acting on their feelings. Now, the feminine energy, the fox, got the oakman. And this is the card of compassion. So she cares deeply about this person. So, Leo, you care deeply about the person that has feelings for you. You have a lot of empathy and compassion for them. So I feel like you understand how nervous they are. And you're going to find it quite endearing and cute. And I feel like you care deeply about this person, someone in your life that you already have feelings for. So the roots go really deep. It's a deep soul connection. Now, your connective energy is the guardian of the gate and the feline. And this is all about taking things to the next level. I feel like with the feline's energy, you feel like maybe the masculine was a little bit of a coward and he snuck away from his feelings in the past. So I feel like to prevent this from happening, you guys are gonna take the next step together. So he doesn't get nervous and scared and freak out again. So I feel like you both wanna take the relationship to the next level. So whether that's like confirming that you're exclusively dating, confirming that you're an item or officially labeling something a date, all these type of things are about the guardian of the gate. So we take 
things to the next level. We progress instead of running away in fear. All right, so I'm going to leave that there and take this over to the extended reading now. I hope that resonated with you, Leo. Um, I really appreciate your energy exchange. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my Patreon page. For an entire month at a discounted rate, I really appreciate your energy exchange. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care. Bye, Leo.